On the first day of Vlogmas, I am filming with a Banksy and a Susie. Of course, all of the fur babies have got to be involved. Ah, <laughs> oh, hi Enzo Ferrari, Banksy Boo, or should we call you Rudolph? And then Dingle Dun too. But yes, I am super excited to be filming the first episode of Vlogmas today with my darling number one boy and my fabulous friend Susie. But before we get into the video and I give Susie a lovely gift, in the spirit of Christmas, I want to explain a little bit about my setup or my theme. To make Vlogmas a little bit different, I have decided that the theme is going to be the 12 horses of Christmas, a bit like the 12 days of Christmas, but 12 different horses will be the star of each vlog. So Banksy, unfortunately, as much as you love shining bright, like a diamond at Christmas, <laughs> or a very muddy, mu very muddy diamond in the rough right now. But as much as you like being the star of Vlogmas this year, only day one, horse number one, is all about you. You are the star of the first day of Christmas, and then going forwards, we are going to see some other familiar faces. They may be some of my favourite content creators. They may be some of my favourite friends. They may be some of my favourite instructors. You name it, you may well have met them on the channel before, but they may also be some new faces to the channel because I just want to highlight and showcase everybody else's fabulous sources, really. It's so exciting. I am really excited about it. It's taken a lot of preparation and planning. Yeah. And logistically, admittedly, I did bite off a bit more than I could chew at the very beginning. So we have had to make a few slight alterations because I don't actually have enough day or daylight hours to cover the length and breadth of the country. No, but we <laughs> wish we did. But we're, doing my, <laughs> but we're doing our bestest and logistically I'm trying my best to make lots of my ideas work. We have also had a few flaws in the plan with regards to maybe lame horses, which is sad and unfortunate, but also something that is part of what we do. And it means that obviously horse welfare always comes first. So we do then have to make alternative and backup plans. So Dinks, you might be on call, all right, boy? You might need to feature. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you've just been drinking and your beard's all wet. Will he wear the ears? He will definitely wear the ears, Suze. So he says, I can do whatever <laughs> you wish for me to do as long as I get to star in Vlogmas. Look. <laughs> uh, give them back, Banksy says. <laughs> so that is my idea, guys. I hope you enjoy coming along for the literal ride. Some videos have already been filmed, but not the first one, which, as I said, is all about you, my boy, and Susie. It's so exciting. You are excited. Excited but a little bit nervous? Um, absolutely. <laughs> Would you like to tell the viewers before Dinks has your Christmas present, would you like... <laughs> I'd like to give you a gift and then you can tell the viewers what you were doing as part of the first horse of Vlogmas. Banksy, we know Enzo's not allowed to be the star of the show. Yeah. But he keeps coming back to try again and again and again. Banksy's like, yeah, but there must be something in there for me. It's not just a present for you, Suze. Christmas yeah. is all about giving and sharing. Yeah. Where's the treats? <laughs> Where's the treats? He's had many already. A slight clue, though. A slight, a slight clue. A slight clue for you, but I think you might already have an inkling as to what is in your gift this Christmas, because it's something you very much, hi Enzo, <laughs> been wishing for, and it has been on your Christmas wish list, hasn't it? Yeah. And then every time I mention it, you or Emily try and put me off. Yeah, you're not allowed to buy, you're not allowed to yeah, buy, you're not, not allowed to, to buy. Not but not Banksy to said, as it is all about him as well, he's been super useful in being your glamorous assistant and made himself as mucky as possible. quite literally possible. Yes, he has. You've done a very good job today, haven't you? But, um, so, do you want me to tell everyone what I'm doing? Yeah, I'd love to know what you're doing and why you're going to need what is in the bag to um, okay. <laughs> get, your, get your horse ready. So, basically guys, I am having my very first horse riding lesson on Banksy with, drum roll, <laughs> Cameron Beer. And I am so excited. Like, I'm also very nervous because 
I kind of don't want to go there and feel like Cam's like, oh my God, like this is going to take a lot of work. Which he's not going to think. No, I don't think so. I mean, I can like sit on a horse, obviously walk trot. I've done obviously a bit with Banksy before where we've been on like a couple of hacks. Um, he might have acted like he was going out on the start box on one of them, <laughs> but you know. Um, and I was very fortunate enough uh, yesterday that Tina kindly took me to a school as well. So I could kind of like familiarize myself in that environment. Long side and then ask for trot whenever you want to. Oh, Banksy, good boy. That was a gorgeous downward transition as well, Suze. High five to you. <laughs> that was mega, mate. Well done. I come and give you a high five again, but it spooked him last time. <laughs> um, I only did about, but it wasn't long, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, if long. that. Um, yeah, just to kind of like... Well, you were understand. going just to have a walk and trot on each rein, weren't you? But you ended up having yeah. a sneaky little canter, which we were very proud of you for. Um, shoot, could we put that over this bit of the We'll put there? a little bit here, shall yeah, we? just so people can see. Whilst you're getting ready to unwrap your gift, which, yes. as I say, is going to be very much needed. And I'm delighted to be collaborating with this brand again because they've collaborated with me for the last few Christmases. And honestly, like, I can tell by Susie's grin because so she does know, guys. It's not a surprise, I had to tell her. Um, but yeah, honestly, one of the best gifts that you can give at Christmas because, guys, <laughs> look. Oh, he was his vlog in the box. <laughs> it is a set of exclusive... Oh, Enzo's coming in, he's like, is it for me? Is it for me? <laughs> um, it's a set of occlusive brushes, basically. And these brushes, I cannot tell you how good they are. I have, I have got a grooming kit and I have got other brushes in my grooming kit. However, um, they are hands down not as good as these. And we all know, if you've watched the channel for a while, mine or M's channel, I'm gonna come in for this, but yeah. we all know that Susie is the queen of asking questions. Yes. No question is a silly question. No, I've learned that. Banksy, really. apart from biting boxes. Oh, no, don't bite it. <laughs> and you love getting things right and getting things perfect. Yes. And there is a bit of a like knack to using these brushes to make sure you get the best results when using them because they need to be used in a certain order. Yeah. And they are specific per horse. So what you might need to use on Banksy or on a grey horse would be a different brush to what you might need to use on say Enzo or a chestnut horse. Guys, he literally had, oh no, he stopped now. Oh, I was gonna say, you rest all his head on you. you. So you're gonna open up, because I don't actually have a clue what they have very kindly given you. I don't know what's in there, so. And can I just say a massive thank you to them as well for sending these, because <laughs> I am ex- I don't know. Are you doing it as well? I don't know what to get involved as well. Thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> no, Banksy, don't eat the box, babe. No, mate, you doing that jump's gonna be a thumbnail. No, it's not, Tina. <laughs> Guys, Tina keeps saying to me, oh, you're gonna do more than like just walk and trot on Friday. You're gonna do a little jump. I'm like, no, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Cute at the jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Enzo, you want to get involved? You think it's food banks, don't you, in here? It's not. So, I, I mean, obviously I am privy to this already. So, <laughs> as Tina said, um, they have different brushes. Sets, for... kits basically, isn't it? Yeah. They come as a kit. Oh, sorry, kit, yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. different kits for different horses. <laughs> for bays. Bays and black, <laughs> grey and coloured, and chestnut as well. And on the back, it tells you what brushes are included in your kit, mm -hmm. and also the <laughs> order that it's you still add them. Adam and using food. them in because they are to be used in a certain order, like brush one, brush two, brush three, uh -huh. all of that. And so. so that's that you're using like the first stage or two for the dirtiest part of said horse, which is why Banksy's being a very good model today. Oh my god! What they put in something extra? I think. Or does this normally come with it? I mean, in town, that's extra, isn't it? Oh, I think so, mate. You lucky girl. And you know what? They are so good. I mean, I mean, I feel like we're jumping the gun a little bit here. You can buy all the brushes individually as well, guys, so you don't actually have to buy them as a kit. But this is really good for when you brush that way to get like the hair like flat, not flat as such, to like brush through it and to cover a bigger surface area at that time. And then you brush it that way and it really makes, oh, it'd be brilliant on Enzo's mane, makes the mane flatter and like closer to the neck. 
I they did are not so know good. that. Yeah. Tina, All the you're tips like my, and tricks of the trade, mate. You're like my little pony club, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> little, little guru. You are. Oh my god. I just love it. I mean, I've never loved grooming so much as I have since having these brushes. Oh my god. I used to always just bath, and actually bathing them's really bad for their coats. <laughs> I haven't even got into the main package yet. <laughs> and they oh, yeah. So excited. And not only are they good for like lifting the mud, like the initial stage of starting cleaning, not only are these curry combs brilliant for lifting that off the horse, they're also amazing for cleaning the brushes as well. Yeah. So you do like that first, and then you brush with these brushes, and then you brush the brush with that. It yeah. sounds complicated, but we'll show you shortly. Pretty good yeah. at doing unboxings. I'm a bit slow, aren't I? No, it's lovely. Oh, okay. It's nice to see you enjoying it. That is oh. the gift of giving, isn't it? To see people excited about receiving presents and enjoying unwrapping them. Oh my God, look. Look at the packaging. It's beautiful, isn't oh it? Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> it's all in the packaging. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh wow. <laughs> they are stunning. Right, you're gonna have to go from one end to the other, oh mate. Oh my God, they literally, how lush is that? <laughs> it smells so clean. Being a top groom for many a different horses, Susie's kit is actually the universal kit. But as I said, you can also buy all of the brushes individually too. Sorry, Susie, I am delving in. Okay. You take his rug off. Hopefully he's not so bad under there. But yeah, my absolute favorite stroke go-to, which I have shared probably far too often on my channel, is, oh, well, we barely need it on this one today. Sorry, I'm going straight. I feel really bad now. I've just touched, <laughs> I just used your first brush. Wow. But the shimmel. Wow. Wow, sorry, I was getting carried away, but that is my favorite. Do you know why? Because that is the magic brush. That is the one that makes white bits white again. It okay. literally is epic. But no, sorry, put it back in, put it back in. I'll stop getting carried away. Let's go back to your kit, back to your kit. Let's see which order you need to use them in on a coloured horse. She loves an instruction manual, don't you? Instruction, it's just so easy. Right, grey and coloured horses. Mm -hmm. So obviously we have got every brush in here because we've been super lucky to be sent the universal kit. So the first one we're going to use, guys, you'll see here it says one, two, three and four. Uh, first one is the Schimmel. Oh, oh. <laughs> Funny that. Tina's so, favourite. You get the shimmel brush. <laughs> um, and, oh my god, this is so exciting. I mean, thankfully he's quite right clean way. in his body. Oh, dinks, you didn't get put back in then. <laughs> Auntie Sue's, they free reign. He's going to the all you can eat buffet. He's in the, the no, he's, he's in, no, he's in the No, 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 do you know what he's at? He's in the queue ready for a groom. <laughs> he loves it when Auntie Susie grooms in. Are you ready? Also, it's it. pretty cold here today, guys, hence we've just had to put an extra oh layer on. Oh my god, all of a sudden, hasn't it just gone cold? Ready? Ready? Go for it. Oh, yeah. Satisfying, Binks. Good boy, Binks. Good boy. And do you know what I would actually do? Because he's clean there now, I'd probably put his massage pad on him to keep him happy, but then he is a little bit of a spoilt boy. He is very much. Look how much mud is in that mane. <laughs> He's going to look like a different pony at the end of this. In about 10 minutes. Shall I time you? Yeah. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Oh, that is good for getting it off though, isn't it? But then, like I said, multifunctional too, because you literally use it to clean out the other brushes too. Oh my God, this is a really good one. The one that I've got is not like this. And it fits really nicely into your hand as well, oh. doesn't it? So it doesn't move about at all, yeah. The one that I've got is not this good. Right, I'm time to lapse you now, mate. See how long it takes you. Okay. <laughs> this is um, she, Susie's input to being festive, guys. It's about all she'll wear for me. Oh, she won't. Oh. <laughs> she won't do Santa hats. No, I'm not a dresser upper. <laughs> Now, would you go down the whole of his leg now? Yes. This? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, you're just raising all the dirt. And then in a minute, so like that area now, we could show for example, yep. you would then swipe and do what you were ready to do at the beginning. The scrunchie's doing it for me, mate. Is it? Yeah. That's scrunchy, eh? Right, are you ready? Right, she's excited. Ready? Oh my god! Oh my god, Tina! Whoa. Okay, it does look good. Oh, 
I'm not, I'm not saying my breath's taken away just yet. You've still got a lot of work to do, a bit more elbow grease, but yeah, good. <laughs> you can be a bit more rigorous or vigorous or whatever the word I is. I am, I'm pushing hard. <laughs> and then do the sway with the curry comb as well. Yeah. And again, you can still use like back and forth. You don't just have to follow the direction of the hair. You can do circular or back, back and yeah. forth motion to really rub a dub dub if you've got a stubborn stain or anything like that. Tina. <laughs> the camera should be on your face, not my face, mate. I know. Honestly, the shock on her face. I've just gone, mate, you need to put a little bit more elbow grease in, just like this. And that, we haven't bathed that patch of leg. Oh my We've god. We've literally just brushed it. It's crazy, isn't it? I mean, I knew these brushes were good, but to be fair, I have never done white legs with the brushes. No. Oh my god, that's amazing. Tina, I'm so sorry. They are so good. Oh my god. It is good, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know, and I honestly think people don't believe you. They're like, yeah, you must have washed it. And it's like, no, I haven't washed it. I've just used a good brush. But you do, you are, you, you are, do need to put elbow grease. Yeah, I was gonna say you. I'm a bit more. Um, You're a bit like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit like. Oh, I don't want to hurt them. Do you know Just what I like mean? This. Oh yeah, we'll make you clean. <laughs> we'll make you clean, bags. <laughs> Whereas you really gotta get in there. You have gotta get in there. You gotta get all dirt out. Okay, right. I'm, I can see how much elbow grease. I need. And look here. So okay, we've got a good example up here. I'm not quite tall enough though. Oh boy Binks. Wow. I need to work a bit harder on the bit above that, but you know. Get the gist. So the shimmel is fab for making white bits white again. Should we move on to another brush? Yes. So the next brush I'm gonna use is the Lip Lipizana, is that Lipizana, how you say it? Lipizana, yeah. yeah. It's really <laughs> um, so this brush is an exclusive horsehair mixture is used for this brush. Mm -hmm. Gentle but effective cleaning. The brush deep cleans from the root of the coat. Therefore, it is essential to use it excessively. Woo. In what? you go then. In I go, quite hard for. Bear in mind that Banks is about four weeks out. Wow, he is. <laughs> He's yeah. gonna get you, Suze. <laughs> He's about four weeks out for a, for a clip. So this is one of the reasons he hasn't had a re-clip, but also because Susie didn't want to ride him if he's, oh. if he's freshly clipped. I said to Tina, no way you could be. No, what did you say? Absolutely not. No, that should be, you should have a t-shirt saying absolutely not. Do I say that a lot, don't I? Yeah, you absolutely do. Absolutely not. Um, and it says I've got to go in with a bit of um, vigor. Vigor. Was that the word that they, yes, that's the that knack it? we want to see, Suze, yeah. Yes. But I think they do brush swipe, brush swipe, brush, yeah. Like that? Yeah, mate. Keeping your brush clean at all times. <laughs> oh, double swipe. Whoa. Oh, she's getting in there. Oh my God, see how glossy it's going already. See that? Yeah, I can. No, do you know what else would be really nice to do is this saddle patch, because that's still summer coat and that'll come up really shiny. Oh, should we do that now? Yeah. <laughs> 10 hours later. I know, this is what I literally <laughs> would be doing, guys. Oh, look at that. Woo! Woo! Shiny boy. Now, I'm going in with the coat gloss brush. Mm hmm. Super shine, super shine. I am just putting in a bit more oomph because I was definitely a little bit. <laughs> don't want to hurt them. Not. I will admit, we have got a little wet patch back here, so we might have to, we don't want to risk getting your brushes too yucky. We might have to give that a little sponge off. Yeah. Because there's a bit of wet runny poop. We don't want that on our nice new brushes, do we? Nope. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Told you, Shimmel's my fave. Shimmel. Shimmel is a must have, guys. If yeah. you need, if you need a- Any of them, get the Shimmel. If you've got a gray or something that just likes to get disgusting, that is, that is the one if you're gonna buy. Lipizana, I think, is in all kits, which actually is a really good one as well for using. That was the one you were using just just before that one, isn't it? This one's really good for using on. Oh, Enzo wants a groomy, freshly clipped horses too, because it's a little bit softer. It's not quite so rough. So if your horse is clipped, that's a good one for using. Not that he's freshly clipped, but 
We need to need to get to work, Suze. We need to get to work. You are not putting that brush anywhere near him until we've done all stages with all brushes. This is the last bit to do. Oh, just that patch. Go on yeah, then, I'll let you. But can we just show how beautiful it is first? Look at that. Oh, you just want to put that on your face. Oh my god, I literally <laughs> just gonna say, I literally was just gonna go like that, but I thought it might look a bit weird. No, it is. It is so look. Oh, it's, it's so divine sad. but yeah you can't put that anywhere there you need to have done all the other stages before that but that patch i'll let you and the saddle patch have you done? right and this is the last bit which is um the finishing touch the piece de resistance so tina just run your hands down there <laughs> stroke my leg how oh it's so silky smooth oh. so silky smooth yeah, very nice. Right, now you need to get to work on the rest of his whole body because we're up bright and early. I know. To head up to Exeter for your lesson. Ah, oh, I'm excited too. But you do need a clean pony, so get cracking. <laughs> <laughs> if you are looking to add something like this to your wish list for Christmas, guys, or not sure what to buy a friend that may well appreciate a gorgeous new set of grooming brushes then do go and check out the exclusive website where code tina15 will give you 15 percent off every item on there and i will put on the description here and in the description box below the date that you would need to get your orders in by prior to christmas as this is the first vlogmas hopefully you've got plenty of time to get shopping and get your orders in and there will also be a giveaway going live over on instagram for one lucky prize winner to win a set of their own two sorry stop it you need to be getting to work <laughs> come on get that pony Just clean excited. i know you're excited but you're also a ditherer so come on get on oh, get it me. done put me list up so I get it all right and we're gonna have to buy you a nice bag to keep them all in, aren't we? Huh? Right, I'm on it. 12 hours later. <laughs> it literally is, actually, it's more like 16. Oh, well, it different day, different Santa hat. Different day, different Santa hat. And I haven't put my scrunchie in oh, yet. Oh, no, you haven't. I know, I need to do that in a minute. So it is the next morning, guys. Sue so hasn't been here all night. She has actually taught, <laughs> taught two Zumba classes since. <laughs> but it was all system go this morning hence the reason for getting him freshly groomed and looking delightful yesterday just on the finishing touches this morning haven't you yeah. he does look so good come up very very well banksy boo and do you know what's best he's looking nice and relaxed and chilled for you that's good are you relaxed and chilled no <laughs> Nervous butterflies. This is what we get like before eventing, mate. Yeah, I'm like nervous, excited, but I'm trying to change the nervousness into excitement, more excitement. So yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. You're looking very smart. Like I say, not festive, but very smart. Give us a little twirl. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, You'll be stripping off, I bet you. I'm, Susie, who's always cold. I will definitely be stripping off. However, um, oh, actually, I'll show you that when we get there. Okay. Yeah. I'll show well, you. he's ready to rock and roll, I think. A little bit of hoof oil on the toes, and we'll be yes. ready to load. And then we're good to go. Yeah. Oh, it's so and I think we also probably ought to put them brushes away just in case it does rain. Or are you taking them with you? I'll take them with me, a hundred percent. They live with me now. <laughs> <laughs> Fab. All about you today, boyo. Numero uno. Yeah. Yes, of course you were going to be Vlogmas number one on the first day of Vlogmas. I am filming with a Banksy and a Susie. This is how we get her in the mood, guys. And we need to put, um, I need to get some um, silver more treats to take with me. Okay. All right. Chop, chop then. Yeah, I know. Ta time is of the essence. <laughs> Snow is falling. Wow, that's close. All around me. Children playing. Having fun, just gonna give Banksy a good excuse to be a spicy little little bum. bum. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Okay, so disclaimer, we got here two days ago to try and do something non-vlogmas related, didn't we, Suze? Yep. And we had to turn around and come home again. Uh, but a lot more snow has fallen since then. Yeah, it has. It's, this was not like here, was as it? As close to me as it feels it is, or? No. Okay, cool. You're, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could it not include this gorgeous snow scene in episode one of Vlogmas, though, could we? No. What's the chances of actually having a drop of snow? Although it's a bit wet and snowy now. A bit slushy. <laughs> a bit disintegrated now, but, or melting, should I say. Still pretty, or it was quite pretty, probably the bit before we got the camera out. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know, I think that'd be 
Oh yeah, and there's a bit around here. This is where we are. Emily's have. here as well, guys. Oh yeah, she couldn't miss your Kill first lesson, so no, no. My second bodyguard. Oh, that's <laughs> close to me, I know that. No, it isn't. It feels honestly. so close, doesn't it? It isn't, honestly. <laughs> she is working hard, but I am minute, working. in a minute we'll get some Christmas songs on the go. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is where we'll be. Oh, look at this ponies down there. We didn't clip him. Oh, thank you, ponies. Banks was so excited about getting in the lorry. Oh. <laughs> He's a happy boy. He's excited for his Auntie Susie boy. He is. Oh, oh there's a snowman. Oh, I missed it. I missed oh, it, guys. It's missed it. actually quite a good snowman. So as I was looking at the road, guys. I literally cannot no, believe no, we're not how sorry white about it is. that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe how white it is. It's so white. Beautiful. This is literally where we were stuck the other day, isn't it? Yep. Anyways, he's been a very good boy, he's very happy chappy. Susie's yet to get festive, she hasn't even put a scrunchie in. <laughs> Everyone knows I don't like to dress up. You two love dressing up, I really don't she like dressing up. fancy dress. I hate it. She did a very good job for your birthday in that case, um, but she borrowed it from a friend. Well, yeah, but she still looked I still off. dressed up for you, though. You did. in the effort for you. <laughs> she hasn't yet to put on a Christmas hat for me. <laughs> I wow, even, look I, at that. I've even been really good hair, and refrained from hair. bringing any tinsel with us because I don't want any to see back to me a bit spicy at <laughs> So it's probably going to look very unvlogmas like unless Cameron remembers to bring his present that I got him in vlogmas episode four that's already been filmed prior to this. Wow, how is your head keeping up with all it's of that? It's not very well actually. <laughs> This is the fifth to be filmed, but the first to go out. Do you think your hat might go over my riding hat? No. 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 You've no. got a fixed peak as well. I know. I asked Emily to bring her fixed peak as well. Today is all about <laughs> safety first, so we'll Definitely. have the festiveness whilst in the lorry, and then sensible mode when Susie is on a sub -axi. I bought my body protector as well, just in case. Good girl. That's what we like to hear. Ready for the cross-country jumps you're going to be doing? Wow. <laughs> Hello. Here we go. He's a good boy. He's so good. Sure, I mean, it puts some weight stuff on the No, move! Let's get you on the lead, doggy. <laughs> Could you be short to start with, guys? <laughs> It's not like Enzo. Well, you did lie a little bit of poo last night. Now, might need to get the shiver on that poo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we look handsome. Susie's been hard at work on. Right, first thing, Susie, can you tie up? Why does she look perplexed? Do you know what's really annoying? Yeah, just tie him onto that, yeah. It's safety. Can I just say something? She's still not looking festive. I've tried to make her put a scrunchie in. She's still not even put a scrunchie in. Come on, Zeus. Thanks, says, I'll wear it. I'll wear it. On oh, my moustache. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Do you know we said Susie needs her own t-shirt with her own catchphrase on? Absolutely no. Oh, why am I doing this? Because I've got the hat on, haven't I? Oh, yeah. Look how clean he is, everybody. Gleaming. Okay, first things first. I've got another little gift for you, mate. Okay. Actually, I've got two gifts for you. Oh, I so you're not a moaning mini because it is cold today. Banksy thinks it's food. Oh, there we go. Because I have got all the treats. I will admit, I haven't wrapped them. <laughs> oh, a pair of gloves. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't have any. Thermal pieces. ones at that to keep moaning mini warm. Thank so you she's got much. no excuse. Because I'm always cold. <laughs> oh, let's already look how many layers are on. Thank yeah. you very much. That's Boy, lovely. I know, they're all in my pocket, darling. You can smell them. <laughs> that sounds like treats to me. <laughs> they, they are all in my pocket, I know. Oh, None thank you. Got any. That's all right. Oh. <laughs> you don't normally ride in gloves either, do you? No. And that'll be good because you'll need it today because it will be cold. Did you cover Piglet with it? <laughs> oh, I got Piglet with it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Back to the neck strap. A navy Gentle. blue neck strap with in the saddle with Susie. So on please there. just make sure you hold on to it and remain in the saddle, all right? Oh, it's to me. Oh. What do you mean remain in the saddle? What? Stop winding me up. Yeah. 
<laughs> Talking of saddles, Cam can be here in five minutes. We better get tacked up, mate. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. For context, guys, this is where Piglet was. <laughs> I said she's as light as a feather, I forgot I even had her on. <laughs> Don't forget you've got that one attached to you though, oh, do you? Oh, I can't. Can you hear the squeak? But she's with you, so why is she squeaking? She's with you two. She's she... her auntie. Oh. All right? Yeah. Happy Christmas. Doing that my next oh. You look far too glam to be horse riding, Suze. Yeah. yeah. Right, can you take your pony up? Yeah. Suze, so deep breaths. So we've had a slight change of plan. The arena was rather snowy, and as yes. much as it would have made quite an idyllic Christmas card scene, <laughs> we <don't> photo bomb. <laughs> it so. probably wouldn't be the best for you sitting on a snorty fancy. No. Because he did go out the lorry, see the snow on the field, and was a bit like, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so thankfully, Cam saved the day, because his arena is pretty much perfect. There's still some evidence of a little bit of snow around the outside, but all good, I think. And Susie did ask if he would kindly have a little sit first, <laughs> just to check how he's feeling. Um, feels great. No, he feels absolutely lovely. Exactly how you remember. Yeah, Probably I'd say I'd wine. say even better. Oh. Even better, I think. You know, he's like a fine wine, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Must, feel free. Must be all the hacking I've been doing. Yeah, exactly. all that fitness <laughs> <practice. laughs> that strengthening work Susie's been doing with it. Yeah, clearly. Yay. Well, he's come in. He feels ready for an advanced medium. So perfect. Oh, so that is. We'll doing Susie doing doesn't know what that means. <laughs> Just cantering then, and I was like, Oh, we still got good tummy muscles. Good boy, That's mate. Thanks to you, Suze. Well done, darling. Yeah, yeah. well done. <laughs> so, I've got a question for you, Suze. Yeah. No, not yet. Is it, a, is it a pony? Is it a riding question? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, How many questions is Cameron going to ask me? I'm going to mic you up in a minute so that we actually can hear what Cameron's asking you. Okay. But my question is, What would you like to achieve from today? Um, I would like to get like a better walk. Mm -hmm. I would like to like perfect my trot transitions. Perfect. Um, and like going into corners. Yeah. And also, I would like to perhaps have a little canter. Fantastic. And prefer like try and get my transitions right. I know it's yeah. not going to all happen in one. I, I think all of those sound like brilliant things. I think what we'll do is we'll pop you on, have a little bit of an assessment, and then see if we are, are a lot things align. Okay. And then go from there, cool. if that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Exciting. <laughs> Suze, you're in such a lovely, safe environment. Yeah. I was saying last time he was here, I was in a plastic Santa suit, inflated, <laughs> trying to jump five bar challenge. There is just one thing I need. So he's now going, thank God, that silly man <laughs> this is hell of a lot easier. isn't on me in that ridiculous outfit. So <laughs> he's taking a sigh of relief, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine, darling. Yeah. I'm in the professional outfit. You're fine. <laughs> okay. And you look the part, you've got all the gear. I look the part. Yeah, you know, and it. we'll figure out if we have an idea. So. <laughs> look a professional and feel, no, feel and look like a professional and you'll ride like a professional. It's my first ever base layer. It's my first ever base layer. Cool. And like proper kids. No, you look so very smart. The child um, have sent it to me, so I'm very happy. Right, I don't want him to get cold, so okay. I'm going to have my attention on Susie now. And exactly what we said before the yeah. camera started rolling, when Susie is in board, on board, <laughs> what we say doesn't go, only what Cameron says goes. Okay. All right, yeah. your safety is first. As much as he will be in a good mood, he's the boss. Yeah. All right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Right. Um, we'll, we'll let you up, up. I get on then, Cam. Yeah. Yeah. Got leg up. Got on three. Okay. One, two, three. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> First thing we'll work on is our counting. See what I mean? <laughs> First thing we'll work on is our counting. I'm going to be annoying, Sue. Let's pop you off and do that again. Yeah, because it's a skill we need to get you having. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Start so I didn't love more. how you got off then either. We're going to do that again in a minute. Okay. So when you get off, you should put both your hands on here and use that as leverage to get off. Okay. Yeah, so you don't accidentally... He's fine with it, but you don't want to catch a horse's side with your other leg as you swing it over. Okay. You have to push yourself up off with your two hands when you jump off. So we can do on and off. Okay. okay. So on three. So Are you okay with that? One, so we go one, two, two three. three. Okay. One, two, three. No, yeah, no, no. much better. Yeah. Perfect. Feet in stirrups. Cool. And now we're going to get off. So first thing is the feet out of stirrups, and then hold on to here with both hands. Do Use I that. keep hold of his reins? Uh, a little bit, yes. Yeah. And then, yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then push up off of there as you swing your leg over. Yeah. Much better. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah I know it, it seems like silly little things. Yeah. But you need to know how to get off because, putting it bluntly, if something happened, you needed to get off the horse. Yeah. You need to, to get off quickly and efficiently. So yeah. actually, it's a skill. And without scaring them, yes. like you say, and without if your leg them. Them. Right, on okay. again. 
On three. <laughs> One, two, three. However, today, oh, damn, you are so good at that. <laughs> However, today goes, Banksy's made me proud just for being a getting on and off machine because it's not always been his so, forte. But those are important. So, I don't know which one about, Mum. So, it's these little bits that make you a safer person. Yes. Okay. More come. And then push your weight down your left stirrup a bit more. Uh, yeah, they look about right now, Suze. Right. Cool. So, don't go too far away from me. In fact, why don't we just work on a nice safe circle here? inside these poles, inside this little jump here, this side of the toggy sign, this side of the puddle. Okay, so you're gonna walk a nice circle here. Well done. Sit whenever you're ready. You're the leader, I'm not. So you pick a moment to trot, good girl, well done. Lovely walk to canter. God, we're getting very fancy. You heard that advanced medium earlier and you were like, I'm gonna nail that. <laughs> good girl, well done. And then plan when you want to walk. Cool. So was that half a circle or a full circle? Um, probably a full circle. That sorry. was a full circle. And it was a lovely circle. Yeah. But we're going to do half a circle, half okay. a circle, OK? So the transition is going to come off a bit thicker and faster. Okay. Yes, good job. It's job. a very small circle to what I'm used to. No, it's fine. I'm <laughs> keeping you on a small circle on purpose because that stops us getting too much speed. Yes. Good job. So into trot. Good, you're nailing those walk to canter, Susie. Yeah, we'll address the transition in a minute. I just want to watch a few, so then plan your walk transition. Good girl. I like your trot walks, okay? They look quite natural to you. You're nice and soft in the hand, light in the seat. You're not too heavy. You're not leaning back. Good. So in this transition, have a little play down the reins through the transition. Don't totally leave the front end alone. Better. Good girl. Where you almost throw the rein to him, he thinks canter. Yes. Very nice, Susie, yes. Think about the shape you've got the whole time. You're the captain of the ship, set telling him where you want to go the whole time. Good girl, you're the leader of your Zumba class. Good. Very nice. And then a little bit of a play down the rain when you get the trot so he doesn't surge into canter. Better, good girl. Keep trotting on the circle. Don't walk. So I saw you looking for something. What are you looking for? I'm on the wrong leg, I think. Wrong diagonal? Yep. Yeah, perfect. Well, I'm impressed you can tell that, Suze. Well done, darling. Um, so what do we do if we want to... Yeah, good girl. Well done. Very good. Very good. Cool. And then we're going to go back to our half and half again. So start it at this half marker. Good. Well done. Very nice. Good boy. Good, and then all the way around to here again. Eyes up, planning where you're going. Good boy. So you've got to have a little play down the rein. Open and close the fingers when you get the trot so he doesn't surge into canter. Good girl. And then it's a smoother, quieter transition, darling, yeah? Good. Oh, we've missed our half marker again. <laughs> Susie, I'm going to get really mean now. Every quarter marker a transition. Yeah, OK. So, you ready? This is your one first quarter marker and trot. Good, you're coming up to your next quarter marker and walk. Good girl. And then round to the quarter marker. Good. And trot. Feel down the rein. Good girl. Quarter marker and walk. Good girl. Eyes up. Good. Round to the quarter marker. Circle's getting bigger and bigger and straighter and straighter. Good. And play down the reins. Feel the reins. Good girl. Well done. And walking. Nice. Good girl. You know, in order to become a great rider, you've got to ride at least 3,000 transitions. OK, Susie? Because it's these transitions that teach you everything. OK. You told me that you wanted to work on transitions. Well, you don't need me necessarily to tell you how to do them. You've just got to do 5,000 of them. OK. OK. You're on a well-schooled horse who will tell you more than I will. OK. Listening to him. Really nice. Good boy, Banks. Really nice. Little finger play down the rein to get the trot. Good. Nice. We'll do a couple more, then I'll let you have a little breather. 
Good. Good, Susie, you can have a little breather, okay? Cool, okay, so what I'm seeing so far, you look, sorry, you look super safe. Yeah, really, really nice. I know that's just a little exercise just to get us going. Yeah. But how's he feeling today? Yeah, good. Yeah. Really good. Really, really nice. Yeah. So why do you think straight off we've gone A onto a circle that's fairly small and B doing lots of transitions? Um, probably to gain my confidence, maybe. Um, so the small circle stops him doing what? Um, running out. Or yeah, running off with you. Like that, yes. Running, yeah. And what do the transitions do? Um, enable him to same thing like not sort of yeah because sure. i know he worries you because he can be what um spooky spooky the transitions keep his brain with oh, you yeah so it doesn't give him time exactly yeah that. it keeps going what do you want next what do you want next yeah what do you want next yeah it's when we're going around the arena going where am i going next where am i going next and you haven't done a transition for ages that's when he'll find things to entertain himself okay okay so that's why it's important on a spooky horse yep. to go onto a circle and transitions okay okay because it just just gets them with you, gets them listening, and gets you thinking about things other than what's going on around you as well. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. You almost had too much to think about. You didn't know what was going on. A bomb could have gone off and you wouldn't have known about yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. So that's why I have a few. What I'm trying to do in this warm up plan is give you a few core exercises that I can that If practice. you go into the arena with him yeah. and you're a little nervous, okay, that's my first exercise. Brilliant. Onto a circle, half markers transitions, then my challenge is my quarter markers. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Now just have a little meander around the whole arena where he might have a little look at things and you can deal with those moments, give him a little scratch, be that Zumba leader that you are. Yes. Good boy. You know, I always think... Good boy. Good boy. I'll teach people who in their day jobs are judges or something and then on a horse they're nervous and I'm like, well, you're a leader in your day life. Tra you know, transfer your qualities and skills from that. You are as well, Susie. You are a leader in your classes. So you've got to find confidence of what you have to do when you go up on stage and perform to those 100 people. Yes, good. Well done. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Good boy, thank you. Good fun. Good boy. Brilliant. Good luck. And still make sure as you're going around that you can slightly slow the walk. He's not just walking at a pace that he feels he wants to. Well yeah, good. And then you can walk on again. And it can just be a subtle little transition between you two. I don't even need to know you're slightly slowing him to go on again. But it's just you going, are you still with me? Yeah. Good girl, well done. Very nice, Suze. Good girl. Good boy. Good lad. You're a good boy. Cool, so now that we've changed the rain, onto a circle down here again. This time, make it a little bigger. Maybe go around the puddle. Yes. So you rise bigger, Susie. Spot on. You're a natural, darling. You rise bigger and squeeze more. And now small trot. So just make your rising smaller again. Ha! As easy as that. Yes. That's why I didn't want to give you the answer, because you came up with it. Yes. So now big trot again. Rise bigger. Good girl, but we don't need to lean more forwards to, to rise bigger. Yes, good girl. Well done. And then smaller trot, just rise smaller. Oh, easy peasy, yes. I'm just trying to show you the effect you can have on his pace, just from your rising suits, yes. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah, now rise bigger again. But don't lean forwards, still stay tall. I know you're, I know you're fit because of all your fitness work, so I, you don't have that excuse. Good girl, and then rise smaller. Good, very good. And then rise bigger. Now, bigger, bigger, but stay tall. Good girl, now smaller, smaller, smaller. Good, now bigger. Bigger at shoulders, tall, nice and proud. A little bigger in the trot again. So now back it up with the leg as well. Good girl, now smaller, smaller. Brilliant, really nice, really nice, bigger. Bigger. Don't lean forwards into it. Stay tall into it. Me, my movements can make him go so differently. Totally. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what I, what I even thought before, but just, like, how much my body can just help him. And actually then, so if you're on a horse that is rushing 
and you then are uh, being a passionate and rising quicker with them, yeah. then you're both saying go quicker. If you can find a way to rise slower again, you'll bring that horse back down to you, yeah? yeah? So you can actually have a negative impact or a positive impact on your from your rising, yes? It's amazing. Um, and, um, yeah, because there are three points of contact we have with a horse, okay? What do you reckon they are? They're, they're obvious, they're not... Um... Um, what, like contact I would have with a horse? Yes. So my hands. Hands. My seat. Seat. And my feet. Legs. Legs. Legs, yeah. yeah. So legs, hands and seat, yeah. yes. And it's you really at the start of your journey now starting to understand what effect all of those three points of contact have on the horse. Yeah. Okay. Um, and how sometimes you might want to use two points of contact, sometimes three points of contact, sometimes just one point of contact. Yeah. Yes. Um, so those three points of contact are? Feet, um, my legs, legs, hands, hands seat. And seat. Yeah. yeah perfect. Um, cool. So in a second, we're going to go and have a little look at the canter. Okay. Yes. But what I want you to do so that it's not an exciting transition, you're going to do that forward, back, forward, back again. And then do you think we ask from the forward trot or the slow trot? Uh, well, to ask him to canter? Yes. Um, I, oh, I want to say forward. I, I agree with you. But, okay. Yes, <laughs> because then that allows him almost just to fall into canter. Yeah, Does okay. that make sense? So we're almost going trot, trot, trot and canter. I've only ever done in my life three, only last week, three trot, to canter transition so i probably will need you to talk me through it totally. what leg goes back and all of that don't I ever think that. that with him because he's a well-schooled horse okay okay so and because we will be on a circle it will help the canter lead okay, okay. so really all you're going to do is be going in that bigger trot bigger trot bigger trot and then one final little squeeze into the canter okay okay yeah and your first two strides of canter i don't want you to lean back on him Okay. I want you to stay nice and with him. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. It's when you get behind a horse in that transition, they, get it. they shoot off because yeah. you worry them. Yeah? Okay. So it's about just staying in balance with the horse through the first few uh, strides of yeah. canter, and then you can gradually rock taller again. Okay. Okay. Um, what we'll end up doing, Suze, is playing a game where we go big trot, canter, half a circle canter trot. Wow. And then we'll stay in trot for a few circles. Okay. And then canter half a circle, canter trot. Stay in um, trot for a few circles. Well, if you can get me to do that, you're worth yeah. the weight in gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, worth the fiber. <laughs> right, darling. On to the left rein again, because we're okay. going to stay on that rein that you just playing the, with the trot in. Okay. We're not going to go straight into canter. We're going to work that on and back in the trot again. Um, okay? Can I go big in the canter rather than <coughs> short? Or is that is that asking for trouble? You can stay in whatever canter you get. Um, like a big circle. Oh, no, we're going to stay on this circle. Oh, yeah. So, I know you've just run away from me, but uh, <laughs> we're going to be down here again in a minute, so I'll let you meander around the arena. When you get down here, we'll go into the trot. There's a reason why I've got you on a circle, darling. So you have to trust that. Testing sound, testing, testing. Good girl. Well done. Bigger trot. Bigger, bigger. Come on, let's see your extended trot, Suze. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger, bigger, bigger. And now canter. Keep going, yeah. just let it go. Grow, grow, grow. On the circle, darling. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Well done. On the circle, look ahead of you. Five strides ahead of you. Five strides ahead. And then forwards to the trot again. Good girl, well done. And trot, 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 trot. Come on, keep trotting. Don't dwell on the fact you've cantered, keep trotting, yes. Eyes ahead of you, five strides ahead. Not 10 strides ahead, five strides ahead, yes. Good girl, and now big trot again. Really big trot, really big trot. And then canter from that. Good girl, stay light with him, stay on the circle. Now we're gonna do a whole circle in canter. On my circle, don't go into another circle. Good girl, well done, stay in canter. Stay in canter, stay in canter. Stay in canter, because the canter looks lovely. Stay in it. And now pat him to trot. Trust me with this. Big pat. Pat him. Yeah, see? How weird is that, Sue? Sorry, I'm not even there. How weird is that? Keep trotting, keep trotting, keep trotting, keep trotting. Come on. We can dissect it in a minute. Keep trotting on my circle. So you actually want to pat him to trot rather than pull him to trot. When you pull, it almost bounces him up a bit too much. Does that make sense? So it's almost think when you want to go to trot, you're deflating an air balloon rather than tensing an air balloon up back up again. Yes. He's excited now. Stay on the circle, darling. And now big trot again. Big fancy trot. 
Big fancy chop. Come on. Stand up for two strides again. Just stand up. Put your hand in the harness with it. There we go. Good girl. Get a bit slow, Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You have a breather, Suze? Good girl. Okay, I'm going to show you something about the light. The thing you need to do. So, when you were going to get off, then where did you put your hands? Put both there. Yeah, and now push up. Yeah, so use that to push oh, yourself shaking. up. You're fine, John. You're fine, okay? Yes, think of the wine you're going to have later. Yes, or gin or whatever you Cosmo. Yes. Cosmo. <laughs> How exciting was that? Yeah. Really exciting. And I did it in a small circle. Yeah. I didn't think I could get that. I no. know it wasn't into the corners, but. No, no, no. no. Susie, you have corners on a circle, mate. If I'm not saying saying it's a problem, it's not a problem. <laughs> okay, yes. The and that's the left rein. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, it is life on the left. Yeah. <laughs> um, something you need to think about. Feel free to be as loud as you want, Cam. Yeah, just be as loud as you like, Cam. So, um, I've never given permission to do learning, that before. When you're learning, that's really important, and there's probably a far fancier way of people saying this. There's a circle of knowledge, okay? And this has got every bit of a crash for your knowledge. There's another section that you know you're not good at, or you know you need improving on, and there's a huge section that you don't even know you don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's really important to keep the bit that you know that you're working on or you're not quite good at yet, small. So with my point of that, this is where it's great if everyone wants to help, but actually, if you've got five things to work on, it's too much. Yeah. So like when you said to me at the start, all those things, you want, that's too many things. Yeah. Okay, does that make sense? So we've just got to break it down. So when you're saying to me about corners, if I haven't said it yet, not a problem. Does that make sense? Okay. And you're good at that, that then goes into your bit that you now know and you're good at. Okay. And then we put a new thing into the bit that you need to work well, on. That, that makes sense. Yeah. Otherwise, if you have five or ten things, your brain's like, it, it will go, yeah. it's too much. Yeah. 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 Um, and it will stop you listening to the horse, okay. which is the most important thing. Okay. There you mm. teach us. I do have a question. Go for it. In the camera, yes. you said keep your leg on. Yes. Does that mean I just need to keep. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Keep... Is that what I don't need to keep? Okay. Yes. So that's just grip my hand. Yeah. Grip it harder, darling. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh wow! Yes, I was not doing so that. So okay. it's basically we're here and then now grip. Yeah, and then relax again. Oh. That's the aid. Okay? Oh wow! Okay. Um, so it's not a kick. It's uh, grip my hand and then grip it harder. Well done, harder. Yeah, now relax. But do that a bit quicker. Okay. Do it now. Yeah, good girl. That that's the aid. Oh wow! I wasn't yes. doing that. So it's more like a lifting, scooping aid okay. rather than a kicky aid. Just in yes. the, obviously I know this, the, but the leg that's on the outside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you want to go into a light seat, show me now. A light seat? Light seat. Good. Yeah, like that. So just when you're starting to learn balance, use the wither. Yeah. Okay, so where's... I've got this as well. That still wouldn't... You can hold that, but still push off of his neck. Okay. Does that make sense? So if you're going around, that's what pushes you into the light seat. Okay. By pushing down onto the wither. Okay. Yeah, because we will do a bit more light seat. Okay. Okay, even if it's two, two strides. Because if we want to go over a jump or a pole at some point, not necessarily today, talking about in the future, yeah. you need to be able to have a light seat. That is interesting because I can feel, as soon as I go up, my balance goes, I can feel it. Yeah, so that's where you use that so you don't pull on the reins. Yeah. Because when you lost your balance, you yeah. then pulled on the reins. Yeah, I know, that's yeah. my habit. Yeah. So then yeah. you use the wither point. Yeah. Okay, he's got a nice big old neck in front of him. Push up off of that. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah. Cool, we'll go on to the right rein. You can have a breather for a couple of minutes. Okay. And then we'll, we'll do a bit more capturing. Okay. Whilst you're having your breather, Suze, yeah. most, most of my stars of Vlogmas have answered their questions within the first five, ten minutes. Oh, okay. ah. But I know you were a little bit too nervous to answer your festive questions, but now you're smiling, now you've had a few canters, which you've done amazingly. I'm very proud of over here. Brilliantly, and we're just going to work on the light seat again in a minute. Yeah, good yeah. A little breather, though. Give the thighs a little break. Yeah. Um, and Banksy is making me a very proud mummy, isn't he being so good as gold? Good. So good. But as this is Vlogmas, yeah. and you're not looking very festive, but you are looking very professional, Cam finally has put his sandal hat back on. You can ask the first one. Go on, then. OK, right. Susie. Yeah? What time do you surface on Christmas Day? About half past eight. Oh, Ooh, late. That's the latest oh, you've yeah. got horses, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'll tell you about half eight. Half okay. eight. Can tell the truth? Do we think more like half nine then? Well, it's going to be more than half eight this year. <laughs> Why? What am I doing? You wanted to come for my Christmas ride, and I'm on the horse by half eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, earlier than half eight. Earlier, no. <laughs> now I've got horses in my life. Aww. Any Christmas day traditions before horses came into your life? Um, oh, Christmas day traditions. I haven't even got treats in my pocket. Um, you have, it's in my fleece. Oh, okay. There's lots in there. <laughs> uh, Christmas Day traditions, no, only on Boxing Day we go round to my dad and stepmums because they do like a big Christmas Aww. little buffet. I thought she was going to say a Boxing Day swim then. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what food could you not be without on Christmas Day? Um, Cadbury's Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite? Um, oh, I would probably say a fudge. Oh, I do like a fudge. Yeah, no, I'm not a fudge person. No, I, I thought you were going to say a whisper. No. Oh. I'm the, that's Emily. <laughs> She'd be a milky bar, but that's not a Cadbury hero. <laughs> What's the best thing you've ever received at Christmas? Keep it clean. Thanksy. <laughs> <laughs> 2024. <laughs> Um, what's the best thing I've ever received? Um, probably a Louis Vuitton handbag. Ooh, <laughs> lucky girl. Do you ride on Christmas Day? I am now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that was your idea. <laughs> I've forgotten, actually, so thanks for reminding me. Do you remember the, what the next one was, Cam? Oh, the Brussels sprouts one, yay yeah, or nay? <laughs> no, no. Nay. These unhealthy people. <laughs> it's kind of Christmas green. pudding or mince pie? None. Yeah, Bet she has I'm, some I'm sort of chocolate either. pudding, don't yeah. I'd rather have a white chocolate yeah, cheesecake. Totally agree. Totally agree. <laughs> well, my own heart. Emily's agreeing with them behind the camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> gravy or no gravy? Gravy. Gravy, gravy, gravy. 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 I love gravy. And last, but by no means least, and I have, even though this is the first vlog from us, but it's not the first one we're filming, I have put a little twist on it since. Oh, good. What's your favourite Christmas song and movie? Uh, Christmas movie is definitely The Holiday. Yes, I agree with you there. I love The Holiday. Um, and Christmas song is probably... I don't want to love for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Ba -do -ba -do. I don't care about the presents as long as Banks is on the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you for my own. I love that song. That's I a good that song. song. Hey, you didn't even get Cam to start singing though. I'm... I did the boodoo boodoo. Oh, he I did. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, she can start singing for her right ring. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Good little breather. Thanks, Sue. Um, Love your answers. Cool. So back on um, right rein, just walk around um, and straight away, just to get your brain back with it. Uh, focus on where you're going. <clears throat> Being five, six strides ahead, not ten strides ahead with the eyesight, but not two strides ahead. Yeah. Good. Good. So straight away when we go into the trot zoos, um, we're going to be doing the big truck, small truck for a while again, okay? I just feel that gets you loosened up in your body as well as thinking about the rhythm and the pace. Good go. So up into the truck, five strides ahead of you in your eyesight and play around with half a circle, half a circle. Yeah, good girl. Good, almost cheated it and got the tan down. You're getting too excited. Good girl. And then small trot again. Lovely transition back. Good. And then big trot straight away again. Think of that squeeze I showed you to get the big trot as well. Not a kick. A squeeze. A scoop. A press. Good girl. And then small... Yeah, lovely transition to the small trot. Good girl. And then bigger trot. Now stay big. Bigger. And then big into canter. Good girl. Five strides ahead of you with your eyesight. Onto the circle. Good squeezing. Think of that squeeze I showed you, darling. Bigger rising. Good. Grow the truck, 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 and squeeze. There it is. Good girl, there it is. There it is. Good girl. Big cat and keep the canter this time. On the circle, darling. Five strides ahead of you. Eyesight, 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 eyesight. And now get your hands ready for the light seat. Yeah, you're going to do two strides. Push on his wither, push on his wither. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Keep trotting. Don't fall in the heat. Don't fall in the heat. Keep trotting. Eyesight ahead of you. 
This is a fun circle now. Very much more a rectangle. <laughs> Good girl, keep trotting, come on. So when you get into the canter, feel at any moment that your hands could push on the wither to do that lovely light seat again, darling. Yeah. Good. And then big trot, big trot, big trot, big trot, big trot, big trot, big trot. Stay on the circle, turning now, eyesight ahead of you. And now squeeze into canter. Squeezing, that nice squeeze you showed me. There we go, super, ah, super. But then you pulled when you got canter. That's where you've got to be light when you get those first few strides. When you get the canter, be soft with the hands for two strides so you don't pull and ask him to come back to trot. Well done. And now big trot from your rising. Big trot, Sus. Big trot. Because he's getting tired. Yeah, no, so keep going, keep going. Well done, you've sorted it, Sus, you've sorted it. If he puts his head too low, lift your hands up. Good girl. Trotting, trotting. Good girl. Yeah, you saw the camera. Head up, well done. And now canter, 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 trust me, darling. Well done. Well done, Suze. Good girl, darling. Keep the canter, keep the canter. Eyesight, be the leader, be that brilliant Zumba leader. Eyesight ahead of you on the circle, stop going straight. Ready to push on his wither and go light seat. And now light seat, light seat. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Good girl, well done. Couple more strides, then you can suck. Couple more strides of light seat. Push up, push up, push up. Good girl, well done. And you can have a walk. Woo. Very good, very, very good. Oh, it's pretty safe to say my right rein is not the best. Yeah. That's because it's not life on the right rein. Yeah, life on the right rein. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. On the left, I found it. I'm right? proud. Yeah, very proud. I think it's also that was your first time, though. You had more energy. Yes. Yeah. Um, the thing is about riding is I used to probably be guilty of making people go on for longer because I would be able to, but actually mentally, you yes. know, it's, as I always say, since I've started skiing later in life, mm. I start to understand it. Learning a skill later in life is, is hard. Yes. Um, when you're a child, it's, it's different. Yeah. Um, yeah, I always found that really interesting when you said about skiing. Yeah, totally, because I couldn't remember the first stages of riding. No. Like learning a completely new, quite scary thing yeah. later in life has given me a, a different appreciation um, of learning a skill such as riding later and in life. it's remembering everything. It's remembering your legs, your body, your hands. Your... And when you get mentally tired or physically tired, you can't remember anything. Yeah. You know, it's getting to that nice sweet spot in the middle when you start, you're nervous. Yeah. When I'm doing my first slope, I can't remember anything. Yeah. When I'm doing my last slope, I'm rubbish. It's the slopes in the middle that I get, I improve on. Yeah. And um, yeah. and that's that's the same with the riding when you're learning. <laughs> yes. Um, so I'd probably be happy to leave it there. Yeah. Yes. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I thought the canter work looked great then. You even showed me some good light seats. Yeah. That needs to be set. You really get. Um, in your wheelhouse and you become a superpower of yours okay. yes um so i would say the main things that need work yeah. are a little bit more contact in your walk trot transitions yeah a little bit of a feel are we remembering this everybody because well, you got it on video so a little bit of contact in the walk trot transitions yeah eyes five strides ahead of you yeah. not two strides ahead of you but not ten strides ahead of you five strides ahead of you um that squeeze rather than the kick. Yeah. And then working on that light seat. Yeah, okay. I think they're your main things. Yes. Um, Thank you so that much. that looked really brilliant, Suze. Really, really brilliant, darling. Oh, oh. Well done, well done, you. Yay! Um, really, really good. Oh, no, really, oh, no, really no good. I thought it was muddy there. No, I've got it. <laughs> so, Max says he can't come to Uncle Cameron's and not do a jump, no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Cameron now is going to show us how it's done. Show you what you can do by your fifth session. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does he want to jump now? Yeah, because he he's excited. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't That's take 100%. No, it didn't, did it? He's got the breaking strain of a Kit Kat, everybody, isn't he? Woo! <laughs> 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 I don't think I've ever seen Susie give a leg up. <laughs> I, I did. I, I, you want to practice I, it again, I, Susie? Oh, wow. <laughs> Emily's taught me, but I'm not. she doesn't let me do it very often. You're going to be studying how people get on and off now. <laughs> on three. One, two, three. Perfect. 
I, I flip your leg out. I'm a bit on <laughs> happy doing that. Oh, unfortunately, somehow the camera's just lost all that footage. We're not having good camera vibes today, oh, are we? No. So we didn't get your amazing dismount, but we got your amazing leg up for Cam. There you go. But we did just touch on three positives from the session. You absolutely smashed it. Very, very proud of you. Yeah. But do you mind just telling the camera again? Because unfortunately, we don't know what's happening, but we're having technical difficulties. There was today. tears, guys, and everything. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, I'm going to pinch her again. Ow! <laughs> What's going on over there? What? <laughs> um, three positives are um, number one, I said when I actually arrived, Cameron made me feel very at ease yeah. before I'd even got on Banksy or come into the arena. Mainly so, because he told you, you you could only listen to him and we had to shut up. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so that was number one. Um, number two is I did so much more cantering at work than like what I had done before because I had it in my head that I like might come and like canter up one side. Well, and that's that what would... you did the other day, wasn't but... it? You cantered the long side three times. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Oh, I'll be happy like if I get to that point. But I like even cantered in like circles and like not even like the whole of the arena because I am definitely a canterer of the whole Straight of the line. arena. Straight line, even our hacking doesn't like cantering when there's a we bend. Can't see. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So I think that's number two, and. I, I think number three has to be for me that I want to, I, I, I will never be an eventer guys, okay? Let's, let's just put this out there now. You have said that from the get-go. It's to not gonna happen. Um, however, I'm very happy being like a happy hacker. Um, and I also, it's giving me like the fire in the belly to like learn. And even just from the session today, I didn't realize that like even from your leg, and like your like how you rise and everything like it can really change how your horse moves so yeah it's given me like that little fire in my belly to learn and obviously hacking and stuff i'm i'm happy doing that i, mean, I think i might be more positive in the canter now though guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> we can canter around a corner out hack every time i go on a hack with them i'm like right and they're like canter and i'm like is it straight and how many strides is it for <laughs> <laughs> she counts the strides till she can slow down again <laughs> we did notice she would can counting in your canter a minute ago was I? We? Yeah. <laughs> oh, was I oh my god I didn't even but realize. you absolutely smashed it and actually yeah. I think I was probably proud of seeing you do that trot and seeing your little grin when you're doing slower rise yeah. you went in to get Piglet another coochie blanket didn't you and I was like Em she's just been slowing her down him down for his rise and then speeded up for a higher rise and I was just and like you oh can my god feel it. you so can, responsive 100% and you can feel it and then you think oh my god I, I've like I've made done that, that happen yeah. I've I've, he's like listening to me to kind of like make that happen so yeah so that and yeah I just love Cameron he's just lovely so for all the people that are learning to ride like me take that step and be brave and I was scared like wasn't I like no well, at one point you even put your hand out and you were still shaking yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> I was like whoa yeah. <laughs> but I think then like the more it goes on and it's up to the instructor to make you feel comfortable and it's just finding that right instructor that makes you feel safe and they wouldn't get you to do anything and credit where credit's due as well they to wouldn't cam. have 100% we, wouldn't... we were being a bit cheeky sorry to interrupt you That's but okay. we were being a bit cheeky on the way up going yeah we will get you over a crossbar we will. and he said no no absolutely not he and, said. Uh, and you didn't say absolutely not once he did i did when he said well i'm not going to make you do a crossbar i said good because i didn't want to do one anyway <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah cam said like a few more sessions and then obviously i'll be confident and i feel practice your light seat a bit more yeah, yeah. that's it there's a few things to go um away and work with and i think the good thing now is like if you guys go to a school and like there is you know often like obviously there's Banksy and there's spare Enzo bones. now and add in there's a spare horse so I can get on and like just practice my little things so yeah, yeah. and I just love Cameron oh, <laughs> we know he's <laughs> like, loves he's Cameron like literally too. the why have we like... left him stay in a saddle <laughs> he's not looking festive he's in a saddle <laughs> And Banksy says, yee <laughs> You do have to sing again though, Cam. I haven't heard this Christmas voice yet this year. You can tell now, a minute ago when he rode Banksy round, he was like, I've got to think who's getting on afterwards. Now he's like, I'm not allowed to whiz him up. I can whiz him up now. <laughs> Before light, no. Amazing spectacle. I know. I know. 
pop it up five. <laughs> He's economical. He's economical, isn't he? Economical. He's not giving a shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to get sued. Oh, see, that is a rat bank. So I thought I caught you having your little bit of chaff with Auntie Sue's. <laughs> but I didn't. He'd finished it all because he's a biggie, but he's licking his lips. He's got evidence there. He was a very good boy. You've both made me very, very proud. Thank you. So well done. Lovely. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Em. Thank you all. Oh, Even thank though you none of you have been overly festive. Well, I, I put a hat on earlier. You did. I did put a hat on earlier. You have. You have. We just haven't seen you, mate, because you haven't been on camera. <laughs> you, actually, you've got Piglet. She's looking festive. She's got a Christmas jumper. I know. She's got a little gingerbread man. <laughs> right, come on. <laughs> yeah, isn't she just? <laughs> that is a wrap, though. Well yeah. done. Thank you. So thanks really thanks for being it. our first horse of Vlogmas rider. You're welcome. I hope no you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed oh, it. I've enjoyed it. We've had a lovely afternoon, haven't we, guys? Yeah, good yeah, fun. Very, very good fun. Do make sure that you head over and check out the Eclusive website because they make a great gift at Christmas. Susie's got the universal kit, but there is also a kit for blacks and bays, greys and coloureds and chestnuts. So depending on your horse colour, will depend which one you should wish to purchase or get as a gift maybe. You can end the vlog banks. So thanks for watching the first Vlogmas vlog. Unfortunately it's the only one I'm gonna star in this year which he's a little bit disappointed about. Or is he please? Who knows? Anyways, can we have a song for the end or can we have a b We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy New Year. Yay! <laughs> Emma's like, I'm not being paid to say this. <laughs> Sing this. Ow. No, you just sung when you bang. I start singing. <laughs> it's Friday night, she hasn't had a drink yet. Right, over and out. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you all for being a part of this fabulous. I'm going to go and can you hold that a sec? Oh, of course. I'm I just going to go and shut the door safely and then we're going to get the very precious cargo home. I'm sorry that you're not a part of every Vlogmas vlog this year. I do feel a bit guilty. No doubt his gorgeous face will show up at some point throughout the next 11 horses videos. He's but in this. My video. He's in your. Yeah, there will be one over on M's channel as well that Banksy will feature in, that is for sure. Yet to be filmed. <laughs> and there's also one of Cam's fabulous horses, which will feature on day four, I believe. Right. I love you lots. Over and out. Thanks for watching. Do make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you don't already. And I will see you all for Vlogmas day two, the second horse of Vlogmas actually a very action-packed and fun vlog to film so watch this space bye bye, bye. <laughs>